Now, risk management is getting very important in the industry. And because of that, the CISSP exam is covering risk management more than it used to. It even changed the uh, name of this domain, uh, uh, added risk management to the name. So we are really going to go into uh, different parts of risk management because not only are you going to get tested on it, but it's something that, that people don't fully understand how to do. And it's, again, it's not vulnerability uh, testing. Vulnerability testing just means you could find the holes. It's easy to do that, and then you associate them with threats, and then you've got to calculate the risks. And so we have to look at the people process technology. You know, we've got to look at all of them um, and how data is stored, how it's moved. We've got a lot of things that we need to understand. Why is risk management difficult? Why would it be hard to actually carry out? Risk management is difficult because first off, you're trying to read the future. What bad things are going to happen or what could happen and how much is it going to cost us? So you're trying to look at the future and understand what, what can come down the pipe and hurt us. But you also have to look at so many different variables. Like I've been saying, there's administrative, technical, physical controls. There's operation, uh, tactical, strategic. There's risks that ha can happen at each one of those layers. There's a lot of variables that you have to understand if you're going to develop a risk management program and understand how to map those to the, nest, the right uh, control. So we're, we need to gather information. Now, if you've d done any risk management, you know that the most time-consuming thing is to gather the information because you have to interview people. You have to uh, uh, do surveys and collect all of this information. So risk management is a difficult process, but there's a lot of best practices. There's a lot of proven models out there. And it's, it's becoming critical in the industry that more people really understand it. Now, one thing that is the biggest question for all organizations is, what is enough security? Because you have you know, a budget, and you only have so many resources. You can't secure everything to maybe the degree that you need to. So what's the enough security? What's our acceptable risk level? And we need to think of a few things. We talked about the legal issues. We talked about the regulations we have to be compliant with. Um, we need to look at our assets. What is it that we have to protect? Uh, how valuable are they? Uh, what type of adversaries do we have? How motivated are they? Uh, what is their motivation? So all of this is, is kind of, we do like a threat analysis to figure out how much is enough security. It's a balance. It's a cost-benefit of balance. And we're going to look at some of those formulas. Now, when you're putting together a risk management committee or a team, this is the group who's going to collect the data uh, and then going to analyze the data to figure out the organization's risk level. Now, what if you had on this committee everybody from IT? That was the whole team. They would only understand risks and vulnerabilities through in, in IT. They wouldn't understand business issues in HR or, or uh, at management levels or, or capital issues. They'll, everybody understands their own piece of the world. So the committee that's going to do the uh, risk management needs to come, there needs to be made up of people from all over the organization because they'll understand their pieces of the pie. They'll understand um, their departments and the type of risk that can happen there and negatively affect the company. So you put together, it has to be the right team. Um, it not only has to represent the different uh, departments within the organization, it has to be the right level of people who can actually make a difference. Uh, so that means that you don't put uh, people who have absolutely no say or control in uh, this team. A lot of companies have just given up, said, yeah, here's Joe. Uh, he'll represent our organization. And he's a clerk or he's, you know, he's not management. The right team is necessary because they're going to have to um, not only understand risk management and methodology, but they're going to have to help uh, enforce or, or, or make changes in the culture, which is the, the hardest part of security. So 
there's a, a process to setting up a, a risk management program. And a lot of companies will, will think they have a risk management program, but really they have a vulnerability management program. So we're going to step through each one of these um, pieces of how to set up a program, what it means, and then what do you actually do with it, the information that you find out. So we talked about the team uh, that we're going to put together. It's going to be from different departments, IT, auditors may be involved, physical security, um, uh, business people. We're going to get this team together. Now one thing we don't want to do is constantly be in meetings. And I've worked with companies who try to put a risk um, program together and they don't move anywhere, but they meet all the time. And the reason that they don't move anywhere is because they don't really understand how to set up a program. They just get together, they talk about all the problems in, this, in the company, and they don't lay out a process of one, two, three, four. This is what we're going to do. So it's actually a good idea to maybe have a consultant or uh, an expert from the industry to work with the people in the corporation to lay out the framework for the, the program. Uh, otherwise, people who, who don't know the methodology, they just all get in meetings and there's nothing interesting or useful that's done. 